this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. I just want to get a little more money here and buy a couple of things before I head on to Mount Ordeals, so that's where we're at for now. And yes, I say 4 in the intro because it is Final Fantasy 4 in the series, but I am playing the Final Fantasy 2 SNES version of it. Just in case there's any confusion on that. Pretty good hit. Yeah, so that swoon can hit on, like I said, I think about anything that's not um, immune to death. Or it's in death, I guess I should say. Yeah, that fight's not going to be worth too much money. If I could get one or two more of those raven guys, that should do it. Yeah, if you want to see the kids walking around, that's what, um... That's what they're going to look like. I don't remember if they look much different on the field. How I would necessarily even tell the difference. Now one's got a red cape and the other's got a green cape and the hair goes to one side or the other. They don't really do a great job at separating which one's the boy and which one's the girl. Um, Orum, obviously, from telling here, is the one with the green cape. Gonna do that to heat it up a little bit. we can sell, I guess. Let's go check it out. See how I can do. You get another silver ring. Equip that first, I guess. Then I can sell the rod and the ring. Buy another set of that armor. And yeah, I did say I wanted to see if he can equip both of them. Not her. Him. Nope. Okay. That makes sense, but I just wanted to check. And at least I have the ice rod now if I want to swap them out. In case we have any en enemies that are weak to ice, but not to fire. I don't think we really will in the coming area. And I do still have enough to stay at the end. I don't think the townspeople are any nicer to me because Palom and Porum are with me. I think they still hate me as the Dark Knight, so I'm not going to talk to any more of them again yet. Let's go. And I think as far as items, we should be adequately prepared. So yeah, they're at level 12 and the MP is up a little bit, so that'll help. Probably use a, might use a tent before I go in. Or else I'll use one when I find a save point in there or something like that.
Yeah, that wasn't great as far as damage, but at least it will keep um, the Needler from counterattacking. Yeah, that should be... Oh, I thought that'd be strong enough to take out an M-Captain, but I guess not. That'll do it, though. Alum gained a level and got lit too. Orum gained a level and got cured too. Alright. Rockin' and rollin'. In two or three steps and we got another fight with the same thing. Prize. I'm gonna see if we can just run away with this one without losing much. Okay. Yeah, you don't always lose money when you run. If it was one of those ravens, I'd definitely fight it, but M captains and the needlers, I don't know, they don't really give me that much. Did lose a little bit of money that time. I think, yeah, this is Mount Ordeals. Let's use a site just to kind of pull back and see what else is around this area. Okay. Well, there's a chocobo for us right south of us there, so use that to get out of here once we're done, I guess. A little faster, at least. Okay, why not? Need the cure, but I don't want her to hit one of these guys and get counter attack off. Okay, see, so we'll finish it. Yeah, that needle attack actually hurt her quite a bit. Now, Cecil got a level this time. Not quite up to 20, I don't think. Yeah, 19. Go right in. Well, I suppose I should probably save it. It's been a little while. And yeah, we could have come here before we get to talk to everybody in town, I guess, but couldn't do anything else here. Your turn, Palum. I know. You don't have to say that. Ice! Yeah, so just like at Mount Hobbs, but the opposite of elements here. Piece of cake. Ow. Alum, our elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. Shall we go now? Meanwhile, looks like Rose is tied up. Come, oh, Mylon. Mylon of Earth, at your service. You must not leave Cecil alive. You better make a move against him. Fortunately, Dark Sword is nothing to fear for your monsters. However, he is climbing Mount Ordeals now. Then he is to become a paladin? Your mission is to dispose of him beforehand. Yes, my master. Very well. Sounds like Darth Vader talking to the Emperor. Things have become interesting, you think, Kane? Yes, but Cecil might prove quite a formidable opponent. I understand you respect your former friend. 
but I've sent Mylon after it. Mylon is one of my four fiends of elements. He'll put on a good show, don't you think, Rosa? Let me take the task of slaying him instead of Mylon. How dare you ask for such a task? I've had enough of your blundering. You only have to watch this girl. Yes, Master. Cecil, watch out. Okay, now back to it. Treasure over there. So, yeah, I was gonna say, I was thinking I didn't know exactly how well his Dark Sword is gonna do in here because some of these enemies are undead. But it hurt the spirits well enough, at least. Fire heals them. It didn't heal them too much, though. Yeah, fire's pretty good against skeletons. Or bones, I guess. Yeah, red bone is the stronger guy there. Let's see if Cecil can hurt him. Yep, good enough. They worth a lot? Yeah. Quite a bit in golden experience. Got a free cure. There's another cure one. And another cure one. Pretty straightforward here. Okay, ghoul and soul. Try to hit all of them with the flame rod. Okay, Cecil's still doing well against them. Interested. Can I... It won't let me use the it won't let me use the cure rod against them as an item. I kind of was hoping I could. I'm sure they're weak to cure. Okay, yeah, these guys are strong against his sword. Good thing we have the twins for that. They hit pretty hard, too. Oh. Didn't mean to have him use physical attack. Stop hitting her. Yeah, they're worth a decent amount of experience, too. Learn stop. Forum leveled up and didn't learn anything else. Yeah, so they're catching up to Cecil almost. Oh, 
All right. Gonna see how well Kirawan does against that guy. Yeah, not as good as the Fire Rod. Hopefully the Flame Rod will finish him off, though. Yep, there we go. And it looks like Tella's here. Tella! Diesel! You seek for Medio as well? He knows of Medio? That means... And? For Tella, right? Watch your mouth. I'll master Tella. We are honored to see you. We are ordered by our elder to spy on. <laughs> Supposed to say that part out loud. Him. We are to guide Cecil into Mount Ordeals. My name is Porum. And I'm Palum. So you are Tella. You are famous in Mysidia, too. Kids of Mysidia? Very well. And Edward and Rydia? We were attacked by Leviathan on our way to Baron. Oh, no. And Rosa was captured by Golbez. That must be his girlfriend. Hush. <laughs> yeah. I cannot defeat Golbez with my spells alone. I've been seeking the magic of legend, Medio. I felt a strong power from this mountain. Medio is too dangerous. You are too old. Oops. Yes, I'm old. No matter the price, I must avenge my daughter. Grown-ups. They like troubles. Be quiet. It's no place for kids. Why did you come here, Cecil? I came here to be a paladin. Dark Sword could not defeat Golbez. Who's Golbez? You don't know? He's controlling Baron. Yes, he is the source of all evil. Paladin. There must be some secret hidden in this mountain. I will come with you. Sage Telejoin. And yeah, now we got three sages in the back row. Well, sage, one sage and two wizards, but... Okay, so he already had the guy armor, I guess. That is why I picked up the other stuff. I guess I should have gotten a cure rod. Well, he can use the ice rod at least. So that'll save on magic. So, yeah, I guess it wasn't too bad of a thing to pick that up. Did he learn any more spells while I was gone from him? Didn't look like it. So. I think he was only at level 20 before, though, and he's up to level 22, but that might have been what I got him leveled up to when I had him. I don't remember seeing him level up, but, yeah. Anyway, where he's at now. Ooh, a whole bunch of them. And we're surprised. Zombie, ghoul, and revenant. All undead. I think in light of it being so many of them here in an ambush, I'm going to use the twin power. I think that should wipe them all out. As I don't take down Porum before they get it off. Oh, I didn't quite get all of them. Send them out quite a bit, though. And those guys have got to be pretty close to being done, I would think.
Yeah, he'll be dead before I get to use the cure rod, I'm sure. The cure staff. Alum gained a level, and Porum gained a level again, so we learned to mute that time. What's your telehead for one? Okay, yeah, there is a treasure over here. So. Ether one. Okay, Lilith. That's a new one. I guess I should have had him attack the Lilith and had Alum take out the Red Bone. Let's multi target. I doubt the Red Bone has too much left. And it still did pretty good damage. Wow. I don't think she's undead, so my sword could still hurt her. Yep. I guess that's a paralyze. Ouch! And yeah, see, when one of them's incapacitated or paralyzed like that, then the twin isn't available. Pretty sure I'll have a save point somewhere up here so I can use a tent, so I guess I shouldn't be too worried about MP. Got another treasure, though. And we're surprised. Am I surprised? Silence? Oh, I can still use the rod. Doesn't do much to all of them. At least she's gone. That should do it. Another ether one. Uh oh. Back attack. And I guess. Yeah. Silence didn't go away. I'll need to heal him. I'll try to run away though. We didn't lose any money. Okay, she doesn't have heal. I think she did. No, that's right though. Well, he's silenced, so he can't use it. And plus, it cost a lot. I remember it was like 20 MP. Okay, we're at the summit. Alum, stop it. Not me. There's a save point. Plenty of tents. Save it there. Well, use the tent and then I'll save it. Alright, we're four hours into the game. It's... it's... There it goes. Not me. Okay. I'm just gonna run quick. We got a first strike. 
Didn't lose any money. Hiss, hiss. Watch out. Feel something evil. I'm glad. Indeed. Slay you all. Who is it? Well, hello. I'm Golbez's Fiend of Earth, Mylon. Now, field time for my monsters. So yeah, he does have undead with him. I'm gonna go ahead and twin here. I think he counts as undead also. I haven't gotten too far into the fight yet, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, never mind. It actually did heal him. Mistakes were made. That more than made up for it, though. imagine that fire probably is his weakness, so my fire rod should do pretty well. Not great. But for now, I still want to conserve MP. Uses that lit a lot. Wonder if it's like a counter, it almost appears to be. Yeah, in that case I suppose I should try to hold off on attacking except only with my most powerful attacks. Well, but a fire too. There we go. Oh, my body. And we got him 3,300 GP, 950 experience. Level up for Palum, and a level up for Porum. Cecil. That's level 20 for him then, I think. Okay, we got the boss, right? Yes. Well done. My true strength lies in death. With it, I drag you all to abyss. Yeah. He's not done. Now we get a back attack. Pylon Z, fall flat into the deep ravine. First of all, it will. Changed my rose, but he got to take out Palum, Palum before I could fix that. Oh no, he poisoned Tella. Go ahead and twin again. Yeah, about a thousand. Okay, ice heals him. It didn't do much though. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about poison for now. Well, that does get pretty big damage for poison. I guess I'll probably have Tella try to heal us.
All right, this time I think we got him. Yeah, that makes it a little harder, makes it take a little longer since it's a two-part battle, but you can still get him pretty easily. And he got another 3,000 GP and that 1,000 XP, so yeah, two back-to-back -back boss battles, basically. Good experience. What? Twice? Like it's him. It's the one falling into the ravine. How much? MB do I have left? I got quite a bit with Tella. Have him use a cure two on everybody. Should get us pretty close back up to full. There we go. Up for me. Anyway, we got through the first fiend battle here. I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today, though. We'll pick up here next time, and, well, we'll figure out what the secret of Mount Ordeals is here in that little room there, I guess. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.